During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to state what a buttress is, list two methods of constructing a buttress, and draw a sketch to show how tumbling in is achieved. Buttresses can be built in at intervals along the face of walls to increase its stability. These buttresses must be properly bonded into the supported wall. They must also be thick and wide enough to resist the forces which can act upon the wall. These buttresses will generally have to resist greater stresses at the base of the wall than at the top of the wall. It is therefore more economical to build a buttress thicker at the base than at the top. The reduction can be done either by battering the face of the buttress or by stepping the face back in regular offsets. These offsets must be constructed with plinth bricks to ensure a properly weathered surface. Alternatively, a tumbling in course can be used. Tumbling in courses. These are used where buttresses or walls have to be reduced in size. They allow the face sides of the bricks to form the sloping side of the work and thereby provide a good surface to resist the action of the rain and frost. This may be done in one of two ways. The first way is by using plinth bricks. The second way is by laying the bricks at an angle with their beds being cut to suit the angle of the slope of the tumbling in. It is usual to overhang the forced course of the tumbling in to prevent the forced bricks from having to be cut at a sharp angle and leaving a small area of brick to resist the action of the weather. The small overhang also acts as a drip. How to ensure accuracy when building tumbling in courses. A batten is fixed to the wall so that it cuts the point where the apex of the tumbling in will occur and another at the springing of the tumbling in. This enables the bricklayer to fix a line from the apex to the first course of the work and the tumbling in courses may now be built to the line. A gun or a template is made to suit the angle of the slope of the tumbling in courses. This is used to check the accuracy of the walk by placing it at the right height and against the walk immediately below the tumbling in. It is therefore most important that this walk is kept truly plumb. Before beginning to build the tumbling in courses, the walk should be gauged to prevent the use of a split course which would look most unsightly in any walk of this nature. If the tumbling in is only small, all of the tumbling in courses may be taken down to the same horizontal course. To obtain the angle of these cuts and the sizes, a scale drawing may be used. Alternatively, you could use a sliding bevel. On the other hand, if the walk is quite extensive and requires a large number of courses, the tumbling in may be divided into sections, giving a much more pleasing appearance as seen opposite.
these sections should be kept as far as possible in similar sizes and shapes so that a reasonable balance is maintained between the horizontal and tumbling in courses. Here is an isometric view of a buttress constructed using tumbling in courses. Conclusion A buttress is a pier that is used at intervals along the face of walls to increase its stability, usually built at an angle or at a slope. A buttress can be built either by using offsets with plinth bricks or by battering the face of it. Tumbling in is achieved by setting up a line at an angle and building bricks at 90 degrees to that line.